evidence-based health and safety analysis in Megaproject. Regarding the technical challenge to health and safety in Megaproject, this paper puts forward a new evidence-based health and safety analysis, EHSA, approach in Megaproject. The purpose of the paper is to initiate a conceptual EHSA framework to support evidence-based learning in practice-oriented research into large-scale complex health and safety management in Megaproject. The EHSA approach aims to find an innovative way to facilitate the collection of data and information from accumulated professional knowledge about accidents and failures, as well as good practices and innovations, to derive useful lessons to inform improved practice in health and safety management in Megaproject. Through a scenario-based case study, this paper will demonstrate how the EHSA approach can effectively support health and safety management in Megaproject. It is expected that this paper can make a good contribution to the body of knowledge by providing the new EHSA approach and a practice-oriented experimental case study on the use of EHSA approach for health and safety management in construction projects to inform future practice and research at strategic and tactic level. Construction Safety Administration considers mega project higher than $1 billion. This thought, although being objective, must be comprehended in a specific setting, claiming the greatness of a speculation. Littler, bigger venture, the super increase should essentially be acknowledged in the financial condition in which it is communicated. It is so that a quantitative conception can be applied in a more general if it considers the amount of the investment according to some objective parameter, such as the GDP of the economy in which it is carried out. Returning to the case of the nation of America, whose GDP exceeds $14,000 million, a mega project would be all project with an investment equal to or greater than approximately 0.01% of GDP. The classification of mega project in this way, it can be established that a good part of the mega project infrastructure for scaffold dismantling process projects executed in national during the last two decades, those currently in execution and the, that are part of your future investment portfolio, respond to this category. Time is a factor that distances or approaches the presence of the discourses and practices of everyday work. So, with time, and depending on the severity, accidents tend to disappear from everyday life in the workplace. And so, little by little, they re-influence and gain relevance again factors such as probability and chance, discomfort, etc., that push towards relaxation in customs which imply the prevention of labor risks and the absence of fear. It is public knowledge that the sector of construction presents a greater number of occupational accidents than any other sector economic. This situation is a problem social and economic importance due to the high percentages of accidents, which for the case of mega project, they represent a problem greater given the little culture that is had about and the poor regulation and commitment of participating agents. The number of fatal accidents in developing countries is significantly higher than in industrialized countries. A distinction it is predominantly because of the presence of better well-being and security programs to the change of emergency treatment and medicinal administrations in the industrialized countries and to the dynamic interest of workers in the basic leadership on well-being and security issues. One of the businesses that have the most astounding risk of accidents on the planet is construction. Now and again, it is anything but difficult to decide the reason for an accident at work Yet all the time there is a shrouded chain of occasions that have delivered the accident that caused the worker's damage. Accidents are frequently in a roundabout way caused by the carelessness of the employer, who might not have satisfactorily prepared the worker, or by a provider who gives wrong data about an item, and so on. The diagnosis of the safety and health situation in construction is not new. A change is necessary of the agents that intervene in the sector. Entrepreneurs, professionals, workers, Ministry of Social Protection, Risk Managers Professionals, ARP, 
external advisors and leaders in prevention trained in the companies of construction and in the contractors. The high rates of fatal accidents in developing countries underscore the requirement for the word related health and safety preparing programs that emphasis on aversion. It is likewise critical to advance the development of work-related health administrations, in addition to other things via preparing specialists to distinguish word-related maladies in their beginning times. Albeit these days some word-related perils are better known, new synthetic compounds and advancements seem each year, showing new and regularly obscure risks for workers and the network. The absence of social arrangements that manage with the establishment to dynamic and inactive operators, formal and of the society and with the interest of the social performers, about the measures of aversion amid the development of assignments, is a prevalent factor in the tricky raised. These new and obscure risks constitute significant issues for workers, employers, teachers and researchers, that is, for every one of the individuals who are worried about the health of specialists and the results that risk operators have on nature of construction megaproject. Another criterion to consider is to look at the mega project from the perspective of the large construction companies worldwide, mega construction businesses, which they operate globally. Reviewing the list of 50 companies' largest construction companies in the world, we will see that for these are of interest projects for amounts that being high are well below the one that points the referred North American Federal Agency, but that at local levels, especially when it comes to smaller economies, it has the significance, complexities, risks, and impacts of a mega project. In this way, a mega project is defined as a public development whose conditions make it extraordinary, considering that they require long execution times, they require extremely high budgets for the economy in which they develop, involve a high number of public actors and private, present greater risks, and high technological legal complexities and environmental factors to carry them out, all of which generate significant tensions in various lines of work. Managing health and safety in megaprojects presents unique technical challenges due to their immense scale, complexity, and diverse stakeholders. An evidence-based health and safety analysis, or EHSA, offers a promising approach to address these challenges. By systematically collecting and analysing data from past incidents, best practices and innovations, EHSA enables organisations to learn from real-world experiences. This method not only helps identify root causes of accidents, but also informs the development of more effective safety strategies, ultimately reducing risk and improving outcomes in large-scale construction projects. In each type of work, in each specific company, and in each job position, some habits, some habits, some evidence cases, some values, are generated that are transmitted from the higher authorities. This is existent in workers who are more experienced to the most novice, which tends to perpetuate themselves in time. Risks in the working environment can expect altogether different structures, among others, Concoction, physical, organic, mental, the absence of use of ergonomic standards, and so on. Because of the huge number of risks in many working environments and the general absence of consideration numerous employers provide for health and safety, accidents and business-related diseases stay difficult issues in every aspect of work. Parts of the world, and along these lines, Exchange associations should demand that employers battle risks at the source and not compel workers to adjust to dangerous conditions. Although with significant changes, depending on the actions taken that they are taking. Richardson, et al., 1999. That set of evidence cases and values is what is called work culture, which in turn can lead to a greater or lower degree of prevention in the evidence-based health and safety instigated into the megaproject. The problem being addressed in the paper is lack of evidence-based practices and or EHSA framework implementation in megaprojects and resultant consequences. 
The paper analyses the problem in megaprojects with the proposed case study methodology and an evidence-based methodology, EHSA framework, which is the subject matter in correspondence. Please follow, like, and subscribe for detailed chapter and citation in next video.